What's happening guys? Prey Mantis back with you again with another video. So right now I'm going to the gym. It's early morning and, and it's Monday and what we're doing today is a pull workout but today I'm going to be specifically talking about the back exercises and how to build big and thick back by doing rows. So that's the whole purpose of the video just to build that thickness, that width in your back by performing rows. I'll be showing you the exercise that I usually use on Monday. So to Today we're mainly going to be focusing on heavy lifts and heavy rows. I just took my pre-workout, just going to be going to the gym now and I'll catch you guys in the gym. Get that blood flowing into my muscles, get that blood flow, lubricate my joints. Uh, the weight's not really heavy, only 25 kilo dumbbell, but it helps me to properly warm up my back and prepare for the workout. So now I'm gonna be doing my first working set, and it's gonna be four working sets in total. And I'm gonna be increasing the weight each time. So just applying that progressive overload and just overloading my back with more reps and more volume. So that was my first working set. Use 50 kilogram dumbbell, 10 reps. I'm uh, gonna be having three more sets but I'm just gonna be increasing the weight each set. As you can see, full range of motion, allowing the dumbbell to go all the way down to stretch out those legs, stretch out the back, and full contraction on eccentric movement. Don't rock the weight, try and control the weight at all times. So we're gonna be increasing the weight now. We're gonna be using 55, and I'm still gonna be trying to perform the same amount of reps. So 10 reps. My second working set, let's go. So I picked up 57.5 kilo dumbbell for my second set, the 10 reps. And now I'm going to be increasing the weight to the maximum that I can. So 67.5 for about 6 to 8 reps. And at the beginning of the week especially I perform my heavy lifts. So today's that day, I had a reefy day yesterday. So feeling quite replenished in terms of glycogen and energy levels. Had a rest day as well. So I'm going to be doing two more working sets. trying to lift heavy uh, despite being on a diet today I'm back on keto yesterday I had carb repeat today I'm back on keto I'm training faster at the moment so it's gonna be doing one more set with the maximum weight all right guys so dumbbell rows are now done over here on a low rowing machine. The only thing I like about this machine is that it allows that really low angle 
of rowing, so it allows you to emphasize more on your lower lats, which is uh, probably one of the most lagging muscle groups for bodybuilding athletes because it's so hard to build it. So when you when you perform a row movement, you contract your lower back from this particular angle. So right now I'm just going to be using two and a half plates. It's going to be my first working set, and I'm going to be doing three sets in total on this. to three plates uh, as you can see the contraction is really good on this particular machine it allows you to contract your lower lats a lot so it allows you to put a lot of emphasis and this is what we're trying to do today just push heavy weights lower the volume just focus more on kind of strength slash hypertrophy training so I'm doing about eight to ten reps I'm tra trying to stay within that range and just perform exercise as heavy as I can with the, with the most suitable form and the perfect form at the same time. So we're gonna be doing another set now and we're just trying to increase the weight each time in order to allow ourselves to overload our back. Because this is one of our aims today, just overload the back muscles at the beginning of the week. So get that strength training out of the way and then focus more on volume and hypertrophy towards the end of the week. So we're just going to be performing our last set, last working set, three and a half plates, still working for eight reps, um, just trying to build that tension and overload the back muscles, especially the lower lats and the rhomboids, the middle back, since rows allow you to build a thick and wide back and this is what I've been emphasizing uh, throughout my whole bodybuilding journey and I never really emphasize on pull downs and pull ups. I built my back just by doing shitloads of ropes. <laughs> gonna be my third exercise some cable rows I give it a full stretch on the negative movement and full contraction on the positive so allow the full stretch of your back allow the full stretch of your lats and your middle back as if you were performing a normal row so perform a full stretch and a full squeeze on a positive movement it allows to overload your back at its fullest potential it allows to emphasize on on the lats and your middle back and especially on your lower lats at the same time these are the areas that are really hard to build so if you just notice how to form the exercise you'll be able to have an idea rather than stopping halfway through i allow myself to perform a full stretch if you've probably seen how arnold performs this exercise it's just basically stretching it stretching your back at its fullest potential and then squeezing at the top of the movement I'm gonna be moving on to straight arm pull downs to finish up the back workout. So just like I said, focusing on rows today, building that thickness and strength in the back. Full range of motion is crucial, allowing yourself to fully actually feel the muscles you're working, not rocking the weight, performing them in the best form you can whilst lifting the heaviest weight you can. This is my 
last exercise, uh, straight arm pull downs. And what I see a lot of guys do mistake about this particular exercise is they always try and overload the machine with a lot of weight and then they start bending their elbows which is something you should try to avoid in the first place your arms should be straight at all times so choose the weight where you can perform the exercise with the maximum amount of weight and with the best form because it's an isolation exercise so you don't really need to use heavy weight for this particular exercise just try and isolate that particular muscle group which is your back allow the full contraction and the full stretch on the negative movement it's all about full range of motion and just using the heaviest weight you can whilst performing uh, the exercise in the best form you can at the same time so stretch it all the way down on the negative and then when you go down try and squeeze the muscle as hard as you can allowing more blood to reach the muscle fibers and therefore delivering a better pump in your back whilst training back there is really one thing that you should keep in mind and that is mind and muscle connection so whilst training back obviously you can't see your back working properly from behind unless you're using the mirrors but you can't see it thoroughly at all times so it's really hard to achieve that sort of mind and muscle connection so what you need to emphasize on is just how your muscles contract and just feel the squeeze in your muscles on the negative movement and allow it to stretch it fully uh, therefore knowing that you're working your back at its fullest potential allowing the full stretch and just try and overload it as much as you can because you can't really see how your back gets pumped uh, unless you take pictures or try and view it from different angles in a mirror so just try and emphasize on the exercises try and perform the exercise in a perfect form you can whilst using heavy weights especially on the back muscle because it's a major muscle group so you really need to use heavy weights to either train the back your legs or your chest you don't really need to push and lift high, uh, light weights because major muscle groups they work the best whilst performing compound movements so a lot of rows a lot of pulls whilst in, uh, involving other muscle groups but obviously allow uh, isolation exercise at the same time in order to emphasize on particular parts of your back so just train like an artist it's something that i'm trying to preach to everybody try and see for yourself take pictures see for yourself whichever part works the best for you and just keep pushing man what is happening guys so i just came back home now so the whole concept of the, w today's workout was to actually emphasize on the thickness of the back also work on the width whilst performing rows uh, whilst using those rowing movements allowing to stretch your back as much as we can and also to contract if you look at the ripped back you could see like uh, the v line coming from underneath in order to appear like a christmas tree so you can get this effect by working a lot on the rowing movements and row movements allows that thickness and to actually build your back around that fascia tissue which brings brings you that sort of christmas tree look that a lot of old school bodybuilders used to emphasize you don't really get to hear a lot of people talking about christmas tree anymore because uh, it's an old school sort of term for back but it's still out there and as you already know we train like an artist and we try and emphasize on each muscle group hit each angle by involving different exercises and working our muscles from different angles so that's pretty much it i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time peace